Socialists like to argue that under capitalism, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. These days, it's usually a matter of presenting statistics on income distribution to show that the top earners' share of national income has gone up, while the bottom 10 or 20% of income earners have seen their share stay the same or go down. To get to this conclusion, you have to assume that the same people are somehow stuck in an economic rock at the bottom of the income scale. Economists Michael Cox and Richard Arm expose this by citing a University of Michigan study that trapped more than 50,000 Americans for three decades to discern the extent of the economic mobility in America. They found that very few people are stuck at the bottom of the economic ladder. Most rise quickly. Among their findings, more than three-fourths of families in the bottom fifth of income distribution in 1975 have made their way up to the two highest income quantiles in 1991. The poorest families made the largest gains. Those who started in the bottom 20% in 1975 had an inflation adjustment gain in annual income of $27,745 by 1991. Those who started in the top 20% in 1975 also improved, but only by $4,354. Less than 1% of the sample population remained in the bottom 20% during the 1975-1991 period. More than half of the families who were in the bottom 20% in 1975 have made it to a higher bracket within four years. The greatest engine for economic mobility, progress and opportunity is capitalism and there is no way that socialists can get around their own history of economic stagnation and failure.